The Japanese government also moved quickly following North Korea's ICBM launch on Thursday. Tokyo's defense ministry unveiled footage of an object believed to be a North Korean missile falling into its territorial waters. In the wake of Pyongyang's latest provocation, Japan's self-defense force immediately flew an F-15 fighter jet. The aircraft was gathering intelligence over the Aomori Prefecture in northern Hoshu when an unknown object was caught on camera falling from the sky, producing white smoke. The defense ministry disclosed a footage speculating it to be the missile fired by North Korea. The Tokyo government went on to convene a Security Council meeting and discussed response measures to the ICBM launch. Japanese broadcasters also relayed live image of Western waters with tensions palpably felt in Japan. The ministry explained that the missile fell into the East Sea some 150 kilometers west of Hokkaido. A North Korean missile has again landed in Japan's exclusive economic zone six months after the previous incident last September. Japanese officials said the missile traveled 1,100 kilometers for 71 minutes with a maximum altitude of around 6,000 kilometers. The assessment is similar to one issued by South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff. 6,000 kilometers 以上の高度で飛翔したことを踏まえれば、今回発射されたものがものは新型の ICBM 級弾道ミサイルであると考えられます。Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida, who was on his way to Belgium for the G7 summit, was told about the missile launch in his plane and held a news conference as soon as he arrived in Brussels. Kishida said the ICBM launch is an unacceptable provocation and expressed stern condemnation. Japanese media said the prime minister met with U.S. President Joe Biden at the G7 summit and discussed North Korea.